Why Americans Can't Resist a Celebrity Political Candidate Hello guys, welcome back to Celebrity Binge. In this video, I will be telling you about why Americans can't resist a celebrity political candidate. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Are Americans in favor of a celebrity political post-Trump? Seems like it, according to recent polling. The consumer research platform Pipsley found earlier this week that 58% of respondents said they would like to see one or both of the actors Matthew McConaughey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson launch bids for the Texas governorship and U.S. presidency, respectively. Of course, the poll isn't perfect, lumping answers about two different actors. Potential political aspirations under one question is not of good use of polling. Other actors who people believed might make a good future president include Angelina Jolie, Will Smith, and Tom Hanks. Johnson even recently teased a run for higher office, but perhaps it's McConaughey we should pay closer attention to. The Austin-based actor has said at least twice that he's seriously considering a run for Texas governor, though his politics are unclear. And earlier this week, it was reported that at least one more celebrity was considering tossing her hat into the ring. Former reality TV star Caitlyn Jenner was said to be talking with political consultants as she contemplates a run for California governor amid Governor Gavin Newsom's likely recall election. But how serious should we take celebrities who express a desire to run for political office? And how likely is it that they actually win, especially if they're up against seasoned politicians? Well, if history tells us anything, former President Donald Trump was not an anomaly. Former Minnesota Senator Al Franken, who resigned over sexual misconduct allegations in 2018, was a writer and actor on NBC's Saturday Night Live for nearly two decades. And Austrian actor Arnold Schwarzenegger used to be an action movie star before he successfully ran for California governor. Former President Ronald Reagan was also an actor. Of course, celebrities don't always get so lucky. Cynthia Nixon, who starred as a lawyer Miranda Hobbs on Sex and the City, badly lost her 2018 race against New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. And I never understood how serious musician Kanye West's 2020 presidential run was, but we all saw how that turned out. He got about 60,000 votes. Hollywood candidates may also benefit from intangible traits that have been proven to help sway voters, such as charisma and physical attractiveness. Celebrities are a unique group of people who have a particular set of concerns that they have, over the past, wanted to promote or support. David James Jackson, a political science professor at Bowling Green State University, whose research focuses on the links between young people's entertainment and political preferences, told me, so it just seems like a natural extension of the increasing celebrity involvement in politics to make the next step to be to run for office. It's possible that because of how polarized our politics have become, celebrities are seen as attractive alternatives to politicians who are widely disliked. Researchers also found that wannabe politicians can appeal to the average man if they convey their ordinary Americans as opposed to seasoned legislators, hence Trump's call to drain the swamp throughout his presidency. But ultimately, it remains hard to know what celebrities candidates need to win because we just don't have much research on it. Not that many celebrities have run for office, most estimates have only seen a few dozen overall, and only a fraction of that number have made it past their respective primaries and actually been elected, Jackson said. What's working in celebrities' favor, though, is at least one survey found that neither Republicans or Democrats are opposed to them running. Last summer, The Daily Show and YouGov ran a poll with nearly 2,500 panelists in which each respondent was randomly assigned 30 public figures who appeared in 15 head-to-head -head matchups. Everyone was asked, which would they rather make president? 81% of respondents settled on one person, Morgan Freeman. In a political environment where money and name recognition are key factors in winning elections, celebrities are positioned to perform well. In our own research of early primary polls, we found that well-known candidates who polled in the double digits tended to win higher shares of their primary vote in presidential races. Meanwhile, candidates with lower name ID only occasionally advanced to the general election. Andrew Yang didn't have high name recognition going into the 2020 Democratic primary, but after a surprising finish behind a top-tier candidate, He's currently reaping the benefits of this in his bid for New York City mayor. What other factors do voters consider when it comes to Hollywood stars? Well, the Daily Show and YouGov survey also found respondents tended to prefer actors over news personalities, athletes, and reality TV personalities. And race might also be a factor. Overall, three out of the five top head-to-head -head matchup winners, Freeman, Denzel Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson, were black. Still, because celebrities generally have no previous governing experience, they often lack the skills and background needed to be successful in government. Of course, this isn't always the case. Reagan became a revered public figure, especially among conservatives. 
and has influenced a lot of Republican politics since his time in the White House. On the flip side, though, Trump lost allies toward the end of his tenure, faced criticism for how he governed by members of his own party, and left office with an approval rating in the low 30s, even though many Republicans still back him. Schwarzenegger was also widely criticized during his time as governor for things like failing to address California's budget crisis. When he left office, he also left behind a multi-billion budget shortfall and ended his term with a near-record low approval of just 23%. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.